Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VeChain price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VeChain chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 0.02436 dollar mark. We have also continued to trade above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue pushing even higher. We have also managed to break above a very significant high at a around the 0.2677 uh, dollar mark and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the VeChain chart where I still believe that we are seeing the formation of this wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there we started this massive bounce to the upside in a move that had been obeying the ADO2 structures, making our picket around the 0.26. $86 mark and also completing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count one to the upside and after seeing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count one whatever we expected next is the formation of a larger ADO 12 count two and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave two between the Fib level 0.382 and the Fib level 0.618 and you can see we saw a retracement to the lower side in the formation of that wave two though we did fully maximize our target areas to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 but we saw a reaction of the FIB level 0.382 and also gave us the low for that second wave at around the 0.02238 dollar mark and after seeing the low for that second wave we have started this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 right here in red by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.04064 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting these larger edge to have gone three to the upside here to do and in the formation of that with three which is an impulsive wave i'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 and this ADO12 structure right here is a fractal wave within the formation of these larger ADO12 count three and i believe we are seeing such a scenario over here so if I zoom in so that we can have that editor structure, we can have these as the first wave to the upside making our peak at around the 0.2617 dollar mark then we started this corrective structure in a move that has now given us the low for that with two then i believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that with three and once the high is in then we can expect a wave four and then push even higher in the formation of these with five to fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of these larger edge of country right here in red and sketching out my minimum target areas to the upside Said in the formation of this wave 3 of the fractal wave within the formation of that larger ADO wave count 3 because its minimum target areas will be my minimum target areas here on the V chain chart that is my next target here on the V chain chart and by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.03067 dollar mark and once the high is in then we can expect a wave 4 and then push even higher in the formation of that with 5 to fully maximize our target area at around the 0 0.04047 uh, dollar mark and that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and for that move to also play out we need to continue watching the 20 day MA, continue holding above the 20 day MA so that we can regain, we can have the support that we need for us to continue unlocking higher prices to fully maximize our target areas. We also need to continue holding above the high that we made at around the 0.026 dollar mark, which is the high for this larger ADO wave count one. Because if we lose the high for this wave one, that would mean that we are losing our impulsive nature in the formation of that larger ADO wave count three. And that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios so continue watching the 
072 dollar mark as our next target here on the viching chart once we fully maximize it and maybe manage to break above that key area on the fibonacci to make one more high above it then we can term that as the high for that with three then we can expect a wave four and then push even higher in the formation of these with five to fully maximize our target area at around the 0.04047 dollar mark so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and before i give you the long term scenarios allow me to first take a look at the indicators where you can see that on the rsi we are trading at around the 66 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three also taking a look at the mark do we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that with three and jumping to the daily chart to give you the long term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out basing it on the edu 12 structures here on the daily chart you can see that i have this edu 12 structure in red where you can see that v chain from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a massive bounce to the upside seeing the all-time high at around the 0.28 dollar mark in what i'm terming is that first wave to the upside and after seeing the all-time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing low prices in this abc corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.016 dollar mark and after seeing the low for this second wave whatever we expect on the long-term scenarios is a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave three and i have my minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.46277 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that higher edge to have con three here on the long term scenarios to do before we can expect a wave four and then push even higher in the formation of that wave five and that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated